Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I'm back at you with another thrift haul. I hope you enjoy. I would start this video out with um, this Denny's mug I picked up. Salvation Army, I believe. It's a restaurant wear, Denny's restaurant. Nothing on the bottom over there. But on this side, it was very cool. It had a heat activated Santa. And I knew it was heat activated because if you look closely enough, you'll see there's an ornament around it also. So I took it home, got excited to see it change colors. It did not change colors, unfortunately, so it doesn't work, but it's still a cool mug. Um, so I'm gonna either sell it for just a couple of dollars or add it to my Christmas mug collection. I saw this lid at um, the June Park Thrift Store. I always go through their lids. I was amazed to find this. I have found one before and I, was amazed to find that one. I didn't think I'd ever find another one again out there, but I did. This is Soul. That's the pattern name, Soul Flower, actually. It's an unofficial name. It's a, it's a Pyrex casserole top. Didn't really have a name. Dates to 1969. It only came in the one quart casserole with a little trivet. Um, it has an orange bottom. I don't have anything with an orange bottom, so I'm not looking to start a new collection, so I'm gonna be listing this um, for about $10. If it did have the the bottom, they sell in the 40 or 35 to $45 range, so somebody might be looking for this top out there or a lid. Picked up these um, stoneware plates at the Goodwill. They're made by Onita out of New York. They are very large and heavy at 10 and 3 quarters. Very heavy here and uh, they came in just great colors. They remind me of Homer Laughlin Fiesta wear. I think that's why I like them so much. And this color right here is a turquoise green. I picked up the terracotta color and the green or uh, yellow right here. It's a very sunny yellow, tiny little paint chip on it. I, they're not really showing up. Well, there you, I can see it right there. Tiny little paint chip on there. And the willow green or seafoam green also has a tiny little paint chip on it also. They did come in other colors. They had white and cream, cobalt, and um, they were advertised as blooming beautiful, hence the flowers. I'm gonna be asking $20, I think, for this set of four. Sorry about that, it's on Nida. Not Onida. I don't know why I always say Onida. Onida, China. Picked up this hand-painted mug at the um, Goodwill. It's milk glass, made by Hazel Atlas, as the logo on the bottom showed. And I've never seen one like it. It's really large glass. It's only painted on the one side, plain on the other. And I didn't know if it was hand painted by somebody or or if it was painted by the gay fad company which did a lot of their hand painting i couldn't find much on it actually and i only saw one other one like this and it was painted in um i think it was fruit or maybe cherries so i'm gonna go with gay fad studio painted this gorgeous mid-century mug and i'm not really quite sure what i'm going to be asking for it yet because i can't find any comps at all Another Goodwill find right here. It's Bohemian or Czech glass. Um, it could be, it's five and a quarter inches tall. It could be a decanter missing its lid or a vase. I'm gonna sell it as a vase because it doesn't have a lid. And I'm gonna bring it up to the camera here and show you how beautiful it is. You can see it's surrounded in gold and it's cobalt blue glass. Those are applied flowers right there. And I was interested to know, um, how to tell the difference between Bohemian glass or Czech glass and Venetian glass, because to me, it's really hard to tell. I did read somewhere that, look at the petals again, Venetian glass has five petals and the Czech glass has four, these have four. And I looked around to see if, you know, people were listing them that way and they were. I'm gonna hold it back up so you can get a better look. So um, I'm pretty sure it is Bohemian Czech glass. I'm gonna be asking $20 for it show you the other side it's fairly plain it's in wonderful wonderful condition
pick this up at the Goodwill. It's 1992 collector's tin. Tin, you can hear that right there. Um, it was a Crayola, obviously, tin. And it came with a little beer ornament and um, it was also full of crayons. I think I'm going to, um, I was gonna list it, but to tell you the truth, I've seen other people who have unsealed ones uh, and they're only asking $8. This is just a tin, so it's probably not even worth asking anything. I think I might just fill it with goodies for my grandkids and send it down to them. I'll show you some of the sides here, what they look like. It's just really pretty. I like the vintagey look about it. And it was, um, they had a series of these in the 90s and I don't know, they might even still have made them into the 2000s. I hadn't really done much research on that. And I'll show you the back right here again. And I can tell you a little bit about the company. Let's see, there we go. See right there, it says Binny and Smith Inc. Well, Binny and Smith Incorporated in 1902 and in 1984 became a fully owned subsidiary of Hallmark Cards and they are the ones that produce the Crayola brand. Again, just a cute little tin that I'm going to pass on to my grandchildren. Goodwill find right here, a set of six restaurant wear uh, deep bowls, they're pretty deep, and they were made by Mayer, who was then owned by Interpace. So they're Mayer Interpace restaurant wear bowls. They're six and a quarter inch wide and two and three quarters inch tall. So they're kind of deep, I don't know. I would say maybe they're soup bowls. I couldn't find the pattern name or even number here, but that is a nice little floor de lis um, or filigree, if you want to call it, that black border right there. And they're in really nice shape, all six of them. I'm gonna be asking $30 for the set. Oh, I did want to mention that the back stamp, although I couldn't identify the pattern, dates between 1968 and 1978. And as I said, they were bought out, Mayor China was, by Interpace in 1968, along with Shenango China. They bought out Shenango also. Picked up this cute vintage pot holder, or pot holder, what else are they called? Um, hot plates or hot pads at the Salvation Army. Loved the vintage look of it. Right there it says HBI. And I guess Kara was the designer of this pattern. I'm not much of a sewer myself, but I couldn't find much information on HBI. So I'm wondering if HBI is a fabric company because this almost seems to be handmade. So if any of you sewers out there can help me out on that, I would greatly appreciate that. It's just lovely. I love vintage Christmassy things. So um, I might just use it myself or if I do list it, uh, maybe $10 free ship. Saw these gorgeous open sugar and creamer set at uh, the Goodwill. Didn't know what they were. I've never seen this pattern before. It's a barrel shape and the color is really beautiful. I did find out that the color is called electric blue. And as you can guess, the pattern is called barrel. It was made by Tierra Exclusives, which was a division of Indiana Glass Company. It was the, their home party division. This line is called 10024. It dates to 1977 and it's super heavy. It's a really very heavy glass. You can see it has some ear bubbles in there, um, which I like to find in vintage pieces. I think I'm gonna be asking 40, about 40, $45 free shipping for these pieces, this set. I saw these in the Goodwill and I just, I like the simplicity of it. Turned it over, saw that they were Wedgwood, know they are good, good quality. So I found two and I searched the store for about 20 minutes until I found um, all I found right here. I think there's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there are nine and they're four inch mugs and they, they're just good sellers. I'm going to, I paid 99 cents a piece for them. So that was a $9 investment. I'm going to be dividing them up into two groups of four and I'll just probably sell one off as one off. 
be asking $25 for a set of four. That seems to be a good selling range for these in this kind of condition. I know they're discontinued, but I couldn't find the year in which they were produced. They're just a very pretty, simple, classy kind of a pattern and a nice cream color. I picked up this vintage little bread and butter plate at the Goodwill just because I liked it and it was super cheap. I think I paid 69 cents for it. I kind of thought it might be uh, Taylor Smith Taylor. Still could be, I didn't really go that far. I thought it might be the Luray pattern, but I got home and checked it out with my other Luray and it's not a Luray pattern, but it's still a very pretty little plate and I'll probably use it. But maybe I'll put my sugar bowl on top of it or something like that. I found this at the Goodwill. It's another Tierra exclusive Indiana Glass Company division piece, also in pretty blue. Um, this color blue is called Horizon Blue. The other was Electric Blue. And sometimes when I'm shopping and I find um, items in the same store that are the same company and the same color, I kind of like to think that they come from the same household. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Anyways, Tierra exclusive six inch fairy lamp, two piece fairy lamp in amazing condition. Just love the color. They had one in amber and they had one in red and they weren't in such perfect condition, but they were still priced the same. So I picked up this one only and um, I'm gonna be asking $20 for it. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. show you sorry about that oh I can't really show you I can't find it nice color blue just like the electric blue over um, well over here but ugh.